Dine, my compadre. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the subscription. Oops, 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 oops. Double audio. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you for the 20 months by now. Wow. Time sure flies by, doesn't it? So that was um, properly dark side from the Underground Folklore album by Haunted Ghost, part of the Synecdo Tapes uh, label, which I do recommend checking out. They have uh, three albums by now, and one of them was actually uh, composed by the late Linshaven Virtual Plaza at another alias. Unfortunately, the artist passed away recently. Quack kind of um, a legend of the vaporwave scene. So it's always sad to find out that, you know, one of the real ones, the OGs, is suddenly gone and all that we have left is pretty much his legacy, which, um, yeah, he is uh, one of those great ones. Now, Legacy of Cain. We are very deep into the story, so let's try and wrap things up tonight. Fear 2 is out of the way, so I think now would be the time for the tale of Cain to also come to a conclusion, or at least this leg of his journey, because as we know, the whole series spans a couple of entries with Possibly more to come. It's kind of going to be interesting to see what um, Crystal Dynamics is going to do with the IP from now on. They could go about it a couple of different ways. Reboot the series from Ground Zero, make a new entry based on the existing lore, or throw out some remakes. Possibilities are endless, but as far as I'm aware, the partition was doing pretty well uh, got some major recognition among the community people were like flooding onto the website just to um, show their support so I overall have pretty strong faith that this IP will continue to exist and evolve fingers crossed the right direction Don't mind me, I'm just buying time until I boot up GOG because I kind of forgot to do this while we had that um, loading screen. Also, my concert tickets have arrived today, so come Thursday, your boy is going to see Deep Purple supported by Blue Oyster Cult. I think I've been very blessed in the recent years when it comes to these events and the um, lineups that have uh, come up. I'm hoping to see Iron Maiden come next year on their um, Senjutsu promotion tour, also with some stuff from somewhere in time. So that should be a good time indeed. Because you know they're gonna pepper in some popular riffs from all across their discography. Like Iron Maiden is one of those bands that has a legacy up to this point where you could just listen to them three hours non-stop and they'd still have material to work with. Like, it's ridiculous how long these guys have been going, how prolific they have been. Also, what's up, Frosty? How have you been enjoying The Witcher, the classic experience? It is a little rough around the edges, as you may probably have noticed. But I, I think you'll enjoy it. It's definitely got a charm. Also, give me one sec. I know we have um, my desktop visible, but that's only because I'm trying to adjust the window here. 
Okay, that should do it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I hope you enjoy it from start to finish. That was a day one purchase to me, and I didn't even know what I was going in for. I still have the uh, Deluxe Edition proudly sitting on my shelf, and that's one of those few physical editions that I'm proud to own, and under no circumstances is that ever ever getting displaced. I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually used to own a lot of um, Forgotten Realms books and some rare video games when I used to be younger, but we had to move places a couple of times and there was no way I could carry all that shit with me, so unfortunately some of it had to go. For a lot of it, I don't particularly hold much sentimental value, but... Uh, I wish I could keep some of those games at least, like I used to have Magic and Mayhem on the physical copy and looking at it now, listening to the soundtrack lately, man I really want to revisit that game, GOG, please bring it over in digital form. Anyway. You know how I brought up American McGee's Alice on the last Fear 2 stream? It just keeps coming back full circle. We got ourselves a Dollmaker to slay. Now, unfortunately, these puppets right here, they are invincible. There is no way of permanently putting them down, as far as I know. Actually, never mind, I can just burn them. That's something that didn't occur to me. It also makes perfect sense. I reckon this is going to be one of those um, areas where I won't really have many human victims to feed on. So I should probably rely on my potions. There's a hell file up there. So the reason why we're here in the first place, as a brief recap, essentially this um, Dollmaker stole the king, the other soul, as part of a contest to win her charms, but he went a little overboard. So now the king desperately wants to save his daughter's life and offers so much as the throne to his kingdom is a prize. And we have to win in order to set up a base of operations so we can take on the next major villain of the game, William the Just. Not so much just anymore because he's pretty much come out as a tyrant, bent on conquering Nosgov. It's always the ones that feel morally superior. See, now that's a very interesting um, interaction that happened there. I tried to mind control the automaton, and the game refused because it's a soulless husk. 
So instead, I had to use possession. Problem is, these teddy bears are not very fond of me making progress. I think I'm gonna have to reset the lad and try again. There we go. This game has a banger soundtrack overall, but this piece right here definitely stands out as one of the more notable ones. Scum. Oh no, not the marketable plushies. Stay away from me, you. Speaking of marketable plushies, the Jack Frost one has been ordered. So come very soon. My collection is going to grow by a new member of the family. Jill already has a headache as is. Trying to take care of Madutsuki and make sure she doesn't stab herself with a knife. But now, this little funny snowman is going to be like... You should stab someone, hee ho. Murder is okay, ho. I would also like to point out that this mansion is located smack in the middle of the woods. Doesn't get much creepier than that. As if the interior design and general theme of this household wasn't concerning enough. Was a poor frame to get stuck on. Hold on for a minute, good sir, as I switch into position. Well, I guess it worked. For that, I would need probably lightning bolt. Uh, I wish there were some hotkeys, honestly, in this game. That definitely make it easier to switch between spells. But you know, it's a product of its time, so you can't really diss on the game too hard. They didn't know better back in the day, in some regards. 
<laughs> Yo, this Teddy did not want to go away. Welcome to the creep show. Now that I think about it, this might be one of those few new areas that actually introduce some new enemy types. Which um, may not notably differ from some of the previously encountered ones. But still, good to see some new additions. Right, so I got the health file. What do we do now? That's how I meant to progress. Uh, I think I've been through every doorway imaginable. Unless there's a switch that I need to activate. Even the teddies have become ghosts. Wait, does that mean teddy bears have souls? Well, I mean, maybe. Assuming that this guy uses the raw power of a human soul to power his creations, then... It's a very grim thought process. Here I'm also sure I've done just about everything. Yeah, we went around this way, not reached there, so I've got news for this bit. I think I missed any switch, though. Do I just need to pray there's someone over there? Nah, it doesn't seem like the case. Oh, maybe wolf form. Jump over the barrels. Yep, there we go. Simple as. Uh, but only these specific barrels, apparently. Oh lord, he coming. Mm -hmm. 
Me too. I love the way they're shambling towards you. The only thing they're missing, in my opinion, to complete the trope is carry some kitchen knives. Going all out Chucky style on me. Or, I don't know, retractable claws. could just pull out Soul Reaver and heck away at the mobs, slaying them instantly, but that would pretty much do away with my mana in a matter of seconds. The cost of swinging that absolute champ of a greatsword is high. What else do I have? Um, yeah, this seems like... The way I came in, so... All nooks and crannies have been accounted for. In that case, onwards and upwards. I have come for the soul. So, Otmar sent Of course, it's a fucking clown. Me, eh? I can smell him on you. Or is that the stench of the grave? Both, actually. Although I'll have you know that. Actually, now that I think about it, Kane probably hasn't taken a bath ever since his revival. Dollmaker, I have no time for these games. The soul is mine! I earned it! Otmar gave it to me! Then you shall earn it with blood. You shall not have it! Mine! 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 All right. Calm down there, Pennywise. Cough up the goods. <laughs> hey, Victor! Oh shit, these cities explode. What? He's still alive. Huh? Why did that trigger? Now hold on there a minute. Oh. What an odd little man. Now, to find the soul. <laughs> what an odd little man indeed, he flat out refused to die. Elsevier imprisoned the girl's soul in a small fabric doll. The old man's intentions I shall never know. Listen. He was flat out an evil clown. I think his intentions were far from noble. Like, clearly, this lad has gone absolutely cuckoo.
Anyway, got this all. So, it's time to make his back to the castle and proclaim our victory. Although, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna break it to the old king here. Listen, um, basically your daughter is stuck inside of a small doll and I don't quite know how to pull her out. But before we do that, before we do that, let's have some fun with the city guard. <laughs> Give him your old spinneroo. No one is safe. Your Highness, are you sure that it's safe to pass the kingdom over to this crazy vampire who has just slain half of our population? Oh, I'm sure he'll do fine. I'm sure he'll be a noble and just king. Just need one or two more humans to munch on, and we're good to go. Actually, let's take on a more quote unquote noble mantle before we enter. And by that, I mean I don't quite want to deal with all these guards. I entered the court with the doll maker's head in one hand and the doll containing the girl's soul in the other. I placed them both before the king and watched his eyes catch fire. With the doll in their possession, the court sorcerers could restore his daughter's soul. I do not know that I can thank you enough, warrior. My kingdom is but a small price to pay for my daughter's life. Willendorf is yours, if you wish it. It is not your kingdom I desire, but your army, Otmar. I require troops to vanquish the horde that descends upon us from the north. Very well. Courtiers, fetch me my armor and mace. There is war to be waged! Hell yeah. Oh, this will give me Warcraft 1 vibes. The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes. <laughs> Look at that blocky as her armor. As slaves. They look Bring like great value arms. Gundams. In the distance, I saw the Nemesis armies march forward, a black tide that would soon wash over the armies of the Hope. Well, there they go. <laughs> so, effectively, I can let our new friends here... <laughs> with the red menace <laughs> also catching some friendly fire in progress
Right, let's see, we're gonna have a pretty big battlefield ahead of us. You know what, this actually does remind me of um, the Diablo 2 expansion. The very beginning of it is how we have to walk through the war-torn plains just to get out of the city and make haste with uh, the start of our quest to slay Ball. They came at me in throngs, no fervor as strong as that inspired by a madman. The nemesis army Go, King. Was and showed no signs Holy of shit. Did you see that? That was a double kill in one shot. This freaking guy is a legend. <laughs> he might be a decrepit old king, but damn does he pack a punch. Traitor. <laughs> well, for your own sake, your highness, I hope you don't get caught in the crossfire and as in don't walk into me while I'm spinning. I sated my thirst on warriors of horde and hope alike, the dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength. The tides turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the armies of hope fled to the safety of the forest. The battle had decided its victor. Uh -oh. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the nemesis' hands. Well, so much for that. Rip in peace. Well, looks like it's down to the rest of you lads to hold down the line until I make it through. Oh my. <laughs> I told you all. As long as I get to spin, it's game over. Blood. Look at all that sweet red nectar flowing in. Now this is a war machine right here. Maybe I didn't even need an army. But, you know. It was a good distraction. But then again, imagine. You have the Red Army right here, marching on. All they see is one vampire, dual-wielding axes. And then he starts spinning like a tornado. And all of them start crumbling down like trees. And William is looking on like... Uh oh that I did not account for. Hmm. Talk about a change of scenery. At once the battlefield was gone. 
Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Uh-oh, we have time-traveling shenanigans. This does not bound well. <laughs> Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Has no! your house burned? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? Yes! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. Never trust a wizard who has no visible eye pupils. have early game enemies which is kind of surprising I mean they're easy prey oh look at that we're actually back to the village before he got <laughs> raised to the ground Let's us mingle with the citizens. Maybe we'll get something out of it. Besides more swag, which is ironic given that I've already pillaged this place in a different timeline, so I'm kind of doing it twice now. In the past to boot. Just a couple of houses open, mostly on that side. Dine, did you get? Um, the Vampire Hunter D novels that Rio advertised a while back. I've been trying to set up my Kindle to get those files on there and read it on the go, but unfortunately, it turns out that Kindle doesn't yet support the EPUB format. Meaning that I'm gonna have to get some kind of app on my PC be able to go through those um, novels, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, not too big of a deal. I really read manga as is on my PC, so... As long as I get to experience those, it's all good. Uh, it would have to be 
something along the lines of PDF. Because when I went through Amazon support, they did say that EPUB was supposed to be included in support in late 2022, but we're already near October, uh, November, and nothing's changed, so I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. The Master of Magic. I'll actually have to look into that game. Now that I have the Classic Edition on GOG, I've also been surprised to learn that it actually received an expansion pack made by fans in recent years, adding new um, spells, campaigns, and content in general, which really caught me off guard, but... Heck, I guess that game does have an active community. One thing I did manage to get to work is my new PS4 controller, which arrived like two weeks ago, but I only had time now to set it up. But at the very least, once I finally return to the Castlevania grind, I won't have to worry about the analog stick going absolutely mental on me. Ah, so it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. Fifty years. And yet... <laughs> these lads are already here. <laughs> well, I suppose the army's been around. On its quest to conquer the lands. Ironic how time travel has proven to be the most effective way of getting across because notice how there is no gate in the way now. It just hasn't been built yet. Yeah, forget about grabbing a key or flipping the switch. No, we're going back in time. So if memory serves, we have three more circle members to dispose of. I wonder where the other two are hiding. Well, uh, given that this is in the past, chances are the circle has not been corrupted yet. It kind of depends on how far Back in the timeline that goes. I assume Kane before his vampirification was about 30 at most. So this is definitely before he was born. Oh, well, look at that. A snazzy fortress. Perfect for an evil commander. <laughs> the 
doesn't matter if you wield axes or great swords. As long as I get the first hit, you're gone. When you close your eyes and listen, it definitely sounds like something, you know, out of the ordinary. But then, I'm pretty sure it's something as trivial as them just squeezing a bottle of ketchup. Man, who would have thought being a sound designer for video games would be so interesting of a job prospect? Every now and then, I actually love to watch um, the making of for 90s video games in particular, because those used to rely more on practical effects. And actually producing physical items that could later be digitized or replicated through coding Bad Mojo is definitely one of the most intriguing watches of all time because I'm pretty sure I brought that game up on stream before, but essentially it's about you possessing the body of a roach and controlling it to solve puzzles. And it's all in digitized format, so the way the team went around it was they actually set up a roach farm in their studio. And the dude that was responsible for looking after the little critter said that those things multiply like crazy. <laughs> they start out with a handful, and in a matter of days, they overtook the entire terrarium built for them. I would not want to be in that studio in case any any of those slimy insects get out. I've dealt with roaches personally and trust me on that. Disgusting. Vile. The stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees. <laughs> Hello, I would like an audience with your superior, and I don't take no for an answer. Talk to the axes. to have all these small huts around your fortress. I guess that's where the soldiers live, but still. Just build an actual barrack, dude. You can afford it. If you can afford to build this massive 
evil looking stronghold, then certainly you can afford the barracks. Ironically, despite the fact that these are the tankiest enemies in the game, minus the um, forearm demons, these lads are insanely easy to cheese. Basically, free blood. Look how actual hits it takes to slay them, even when they're in the, the stun animation. And we're talking about actual DPS here. But now they need to put them down, eventually they'll just plop on their own. <clears throat> Even if I eat, eat a hit, that's fine. So long as I can find a safe spot. Trigger the animation and go ham. <laughs> there are some off screen violins for you. I appreciate there being prisoners for some free broth samples. Yes, broad, not blood. What is even language? One could say, succulent. Success. Okay, maybe I should stop. Come here, let's. I need a refill. Now, now. Who said you can interrupt my attack animation? Oh my. 
There we go. And they do give back a good chunk of my health. So it's a win-win situation. See, a lot of people will complain that in late game your character feels way too strong and going through some bits may feel a little too easy. I say that at this point you've just grown so powerful it makes sense that you'd be a walking death machine. There's already been some challenging portions of the game. Now is the time to feel <laughs> like a god walking a nerf. Why is it always the ice? What the heck is your problem? Who is spilling all of this water and then freezing it? I mean, I could ask the same about these traps. It's gotta be the Resident Evil architect. It's his doing for sure. You know, that's actually an interesting choice of weapons to do a wheel. A scimitar and a mace. You'd think it's a little unwieldy and unconventional, but listen. That dude's got the right idea because he's gonna do both slashing and crushing damage. He is thinking ahead of the game. Yes, the, these weapons you've provided will see to that. Uh, uh, pray tell, Mobius, what game do you play? None, my lord. I only um, currently, Cyberpunk. Vanquishing your foes. The weapons are but a token of my goodwill. A and the news you bring, a vampire said to slay me? Where did you come upon such knowledge? It is of no consequence, sire. It was only out of concern for your majesty's life. Perhaps, perhaps. Very well, then. You may leave me now, but should I wish to speak to you? I will know, Your Majesty, and I shall be there in time.
Yeah, if suddenly one day a wizard came up with a large supply of weapons and telling me about a vampire that's gonna go back to the past to play the shitty games, uh, I mean, slay me, I'd be a little discombobulated too. You know what? I don't think many of you get to see this bad boy in action. But here it is. The Here's Soul, Soul Reaver. Reaver TM. It is a beast. One bar of mana per successful swing, but boy, look at that. It erases enemies out of existence. The champ. Now, back to the usual setup, because I need to get back some health. <laughs> I think we're getting close, so we just need to do more of the same. Flip the switches, proceed through the main entrance. It's like none of these baddies like to make simple interior design where it's easy to navigate your own establishment. Almost like they knew some undead prick was gonna come and make their day miserable. Hmm. Most suspicious. I mean, listen. That cutscene we just witnessed, that was basically Mobius. Deploying spoilers. <laughs> Here, let me give you this stash of weapons. By the way, spoilers. Incoming vampire. gonna be right combo hmm all right let's make it a little easier Might be here for a while until I get the right combination. Ok, 
because I believe there's no clues per se. this store open when I flip the switch instead of the main one? It could be that I can't proceed further ahead yet. Oh, there we go. Ah, but I think we kept at Max Hill because notice how that Val didn't do anything. And this is where we saw the two gentlemen converse. Some sort of switch there. Ow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad idea. I still don't know what to do here. How do I open that door? Is there anything on that balcony? I think I can even go back there if I wanted to. dungeon I did come through but a different side of it yeah we got some goodies here
Very nice. Alright, so that's that. I need to find a way to open that main door. So back we go. Trotting past all the ghosties. All the spookings that... Yeesh. Those two spikes are... No joke. Now the swinging axes, those are fine. They just tickle me slightly. Taking my health away. Ugh. Never get ganked. What do I do about you then? Maybe now I gotta flip all of them on? Quite sure was the uh oh hang on. Ah, if I shut the tube by the entrance then this door opens here. Right. Maybe it's just gotta be those two then? Kinda annoying how they keep coming back every time, but it is what it is. It doesn't bother me usually, however, not when I have to backtrack to figure out the puzzle. going to be a problem with no mana.
Uh, it did open the door again. Did it change anything specifically? I don't think so. Maybe you're meant to get a different switch each time here. I mean, not that I can see. What's the deal here? Maybe the banners are the clue. And I just didn't make the connection. Even so... Hang on. Two skulls. This might be actually way simpler than I'm making it out to be. One skull. I don't know what that is. skulls. One, two, three, four? But that's assuming. That's number four. Oh, goes nothing. this one.
Anything change? Well, now the earth's shut. If I sh shut them in this order. So when I first got here, I kind of just flipped them at random. Could be a very specific order in mine. Well, that's progress. Oh, I get it. One, two, three. And this is a sign that you leave it alone. I can be smart sometimes. Occasionally. here we got a depiction of Nazgoth <laughs> gentlemen meet me at the bell room yes the bell room with the floral map pattern Where I stick swords to mark targets because I'm an absolute badass. Ah, yes, the vampire. Uh, Mobius told me you would come. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have the Soul Reaver? I know that sound. Let's see if we've got a William here is susceptible to the cheese. <coughs> no, he's got interval frames. So, still a little bit of mano to mano. The woo that just took a huge bite of my health. Like, geez, Louise. And ironically, this might be more efficient. The devs knew what they were doing by giving the boss no um, hit state. One more idea. <laughs> that is assuming I can get a good crowd going. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, no, because by the time I'm back away, I'm gonna eat a hit. one more way we could go about this. Remember how I have an item that boosts my mana. These things. We equip Energy that. Bank. Then we pop one of these bad boys. And now we pull out the Soul Reaver. Gets in, truthfully. No matter what you should do. Gotcha. As his guards rushed to save him, William the Just's blood was already renewing my strength, replacing the life his sword had stolen from my veins. The poor fools come to aid their fallen leader. Let us have some amusement. Indeed. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> A time streaming device. Strange. When coincidence seems too convenient, I prefer to call it fate. Whoa, shit's getting trippy again. Well, now that we've fucked over the curse of history, I'm sure this won't fire, uh, backfire on us at all. With William the Just dead, Mobius's plans have been thwarted. His pawn was removed from the game. So what now? Back to the Oracle, I assume. <laughs> Come on, your leader is already dead. Cut me some slack here. <laughs> This massive unit. <laughs> Freaking executioner came out to play. <laughs> oh. 
Well, we are going the right way for sure. Given that there's new enemies. <laughs> I see my retreat from the castle. Won't be that easy. Did not let me out scotch free. <laughs> and we got Bloodborne Hunters now on my case. already done this sequence once we don't need a part two it's kind of redundant don't you think <laughs> then again we have something new here <laughs> Look at that. I should have to go about it the opposite way. Don't look like commoners to me. Oh, what's that? Baby can cross water. How unfortunate. To be fair, neither could I, until I achieved the ultimate excellence, which is mist form. I'm still gonna call him out on the skill issue. Oh. 
Thank you for the trinkets. Now let's split this joint. I found myself once more in the Nosgoth I knew. The carnage from battle was gone. Yet there was something amiss. From the distance, I heard cries, and a breeze from the south carried with it the faint odor of vampire blood. Oh? Vampire blood, that's not mine. Well, we do know one more vampire. Could be Vorador. Assuming he got off his lazy ass and left the mansion. Seems pretty normal to me. Well, normal as it gets for this realm standards. I say that as I go on a murder spree. Dark fantasy at its finest. would seem the folly fell upon my own shoulders. With their sainted King William dared by my hand, the people of the land were consumed by a hunger all their own, for vampire blood. Oh. That'll explain the hunters. certainly explain a couple of things. <laughs> and that's what you get from messing with the timeline. The butterfly effect is kicking in. As I wandered about more, the shrieking and cheering became more apparent and defined. There was... Oops. <laughs> the heart of darkness. <laughs> Sorry, Kane. You're just gonna have to... Make out the rest of your own. I 
I make no pretense to justify my killing, yet these vampire hunters would cloak their bloodlust beneath a veil of righteousness. Hypocrites! They would make themselves judge and jury. Very well, then. Let us see how they take to my role as executioner. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> In their defense, I may have gone on a few killing sprees across um, different townships in this realm. The folks may have gone a little salty about it. Looking for some vindication. But listen, I am still in the right. I may be wrong, but my opinion is still the correct one. a lot of these self-proclaimed vampire slayers. <laughs> Practically slaying an entire hamlet's worth of opposition. This castle has changed slightly. Not the same as I remember it. the mighty have fallen. We are free of this unholy scourge! Not yet, my friend. Would you be free of the plague if only one city was cleansed? No! no. Would you spare one wolf in the pack that has devastated your herd? No! no. Now is not the right time, Kane. The people will not rest until Nosgoth is purged of your kind. I had been betrayed. In my haste, I had not realized it before. That sigil on his forehead, the Oracle of Nosgoth, was in fact the time streamer Mobius, and I had followed his advice. How much of my quest was of his design? Willendorf, the Battle of the Last Stand, William the Just? Was this the trap he had fashioned for me? Bay Victor! I'm gonna be real with you, you're gonna need more than we'll that. I'll send you back to the grave whence you came, vampire. I have seen the future, Ken. You are not in it. <laughs> That's a good one-liner. As corny as it is, I love it.
Let us call upon the puppets from the past. Um. Okay. It's gonna just tossing lightning bolts my way. That's not a very intimidating. Tell you what, it's gonna be like that. thought so. The one that pull up the barrier, that's when he checks out. From the present. From the future. And from ages yet to come. Oh shit. It's future Kane. Trust no one, not even yourself. Surprisingly, a very tanky lad. Hold on. Perhaps I need to pull out the ultimate solution yep <laughs> that was it <laughs> soul reaver <laughs> hello friend By going back in time and altering the past, you turn William the Just into the Nemesis. Aye, you have seen my plan, Vampire, as I have seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. <laughs> as are you. Bravo. Mobius's hourglass was the focus of his time streaming magic. Farewell, sorcerer. The sands of time have ceased to flow for you. Well done, Cain. <laughs> Mobius did so love playing the trickster's part. His guise as the oracle served his schemes well. Pity with all his plots he failed to plan for you. Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. Man. What would I give to get Tony Jade to call me his undead son? What a privilege. It's time, boys and gals, it's time to put this whole ordeal into closure. You 
You betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. Oh shit. You set him upon us. It had to be. Nopraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. He's pulling the green goop. Watch out. Oh. Lightning stronger than slime. Confirmed. Still, he's saying the hassle of killing him. circle is to be destroyed, you have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take Princeling. Finish me! Oh shit, the Bone Squad is here. <laughs> Never mind that, we're going for the kill. And I will give you the honor, the privilege the soul reaver. of dying by the Soul Reaver. Poof. Just like that. Oh. Well, that's a little underwhelming, isn't it? Alright, if you're gonna be like that... Fine. Got a few more charges. I can play cat and mouse for a while. It's all good. hits the magic number uh oh <laughs> you thought yourself a king when in fact you were a pawn you have served me well king <laughs> i serve no one indeed such narrow vision don't you see my silencing of Ariel and its calculated repercussions is but the first act in my theater of grand guignol. You are the tragic hero. Lay on, little vampire. Lay on. Fay Victus! He said the line. He said the line. Anacroth's magic was contained within the metal of the scales and would eventually be released back into the pillar from whence it came. The scales of Anacroth I lay before the pillar of states. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The death orb of Mortanius had given the necromancer dominion over the grave. I had... Oh, come on, at least let me finish with the courtesy. The heart of darkness. Before the pillar of death... I lay the orb of Thank Mortanius. You. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Right, so we already know what's this guy's deal, more or less. First off, let me heal a bunch.
then pop one of these. And back to Soul Reaver. Can't really tell if that did damage. Uh, I can cure him. Crying in pain. However, I'm not sure if Soul Reaper is actually doing Playing anything. So whenever I get hit, all of my mana is gone. And so is a good chunk of health. Can he go as far as the arena? And... Oh, yep. If I go up, that seems to avoid the attack. Did we do it? Hell yeah. I am the last pillar. The only survivor of the Circle of Nine. At my whim, the world will be healed or damned. At Ooh. my whim. Do we take it for our own? Or set up a happy end? You know what? We have a save point, so... We can totally view both endings. Let's start with... Cain just wants some peace and quiet in his life. In his life, he was unknown. A petty noble. In death, he was unknown. Yet by choosing oblivion, he restored balance to the land. Shades cast. No shadows. You are victorious. Almost 2,000 slings, 400 meals, 640 mutilations, only 20 secrets. Prestige princess. I am a beautiful, beautiful princess. However, that's not the canonical land. Oh no. After all that shit, after putting me through all that grief? I'm gonna have my payback. Thank you. 
in the end, it all comes back to circle strafing. <laughs> that has always been the threat. Four hits before he hides away. <laughs> ah. Still got enough healing to deal with the big bad demon who's kinda <laughs> underwhelming. Like, you don't have much going for you, pal, besides teleporting onto me. Might be a little slower because I didn't use Soul Reaver this time. Still, I think we'll eventually get there. Case closed. And now, for what I believe, is the actual end. I mean, all evidence in canon points to this being the outcome. And I say, rightfully so. Once I embraced my powers, I realized that Forador was correct. We are gods. Dark gods. And it is our duty Like a king. <laughs> like... A king. I raise my can of monster energy to you, good sir. And that's it. That is the original Blood Omen. What a freaking great game. This might possibly be one of the best games I've streamed, and one of my favorite games of all time. The gameplay itself, I would say, is probably the greatest downside. I mean, it's not bad per se, but you can see that it's aged. It's a little dated by today's standards. It definitely could use some retunement if um, Crystal Dynamics ever goes back to this style. But nothing I couldn't deal with. Trust me, I've done worse. However, any kind of downsides that this game has, they are absolutely outshined by the positives. Namely, the story, the narrative, the character of Kane, who is a really good anti hero figure. Like, that's actually what I really like about this um, story. He's a perfectly morally gray character who, as you journey on with together, you get to understand his side of the story. And actually, as you go down that road with him, you begin to question, hey, maybe he's kind of in the right. Maybe this world isn't worth saving after all. I mean, he's been killed mercilessly he still had some bit of humanity left with him but it all kind of went down the drain as he realized 
just how bleak things have become. I think I might return to this series at a later point. Obviously, this was the only entry by Silicon Knights. They did later on move to greater pastures with Eternal Darkness. So anything that I touch from now onwards is Crystal Dynamics exclusively. Also, Simon Templeman, Great King. And he's been that um, persona for as long as we can remember from the very inception to the last game today. If they bring back Legacy of Kane, which I do hope so, I hope they give that man the lead role to reprise. Now, with the other games, I did actually look through Steam and GOG. Problem is the ports. What? What was that? an easter egg what the hell i don't know i generally thought a sub triggered for a moment holy shit huh well i'm as baffled as you guys are Anyway, that note aside, mm, the ports that are currently available in GOG and Steam for the later games, they don't have very positive reviews. Apparently they don't work well on modern systems and are generally poorly optimized. So maybe that's the time to signal boost Nidive to get on the case and work on some modern remasters of the series. Either that or Crystal Dynamics, please. You know what to do. I mean, maybe I'll bite the bullet and get Soul Weaver just to try it out. Maybe. But not in the immediate future. Oh no. Also, thank you for capturing that Frosty. That was completely out of line and I don't know. Maybe it was the ghost of one of the developers. It is October. It is October after all. Wait a minute. Can I look this up? Um, nothing immediately when I look it up on Google. Oh, hang on. Towards the end of the credits, in the special thanks section, Coffee Guy is humorously yelled by the unidentified voice. So it is just a random Easter egg. For no fucking reason. Up. Uh, that's based. That's based. I imagine politely going through the credits and then suddenly... Woo! That's amazing. Crystal Dynamics. Silicon Knights. I tip my head to you. And erase my kind of monster again. Okay, so... We got Fear 2 out of the way. And now Blood Omen has been concluded, which was my grand plan for October. However, we're not done yet. Come Friday, the Faith Anthology finally drops. So that's on the agenda. And since we still have time, I think I may roll out another small game that I've been planning on for a while. Don't worry, I still have plenty of backup material for the month of um, Ghosts and Ghoulies. So, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon, and 
I'll be sure to report back after Thursday how the concert went. Take it easy, y'all, and see you again soon.